Hello, this is Betty from Betty's Harvest Right Free Storage Group on Facebook. I have four trays of fresh strawberry puree. I took the strawberries and put them in my food processor and pureed them and poured them into some silicone molds that were intended for brownie molds just to make them into smaller pieces and I pre-froze them then I put them on the trays and broke them into um, a little bit smaller pieces like this one here that you see then I had already before I started this video started taking my spatula here and cutting these trays up into smaller pieces just by doing this so that I can have bite size um, snack, dry snack pieces and I also take the spatula and run underneath the strawberries on the trays because they did stick. I wasn't certain if they would stick since I had pre-frozen them in those molds, but they did. So some of you might say, well why don't you go ahead and powder them? You certainly can. You can take this and put that in your food processor or blender and powder them up. Use your strawberry powder or any other fruit powder the same way you would any other um, fruit juice for example you could add the powder into baked goods as a topping in ice cream in your smoothies milkshakes all types of things as someone in my group even took some strawberry powder added it with sugar and coated her homemade donuts with it it's excellent. Let me go ahead and taste this. As you know, all freeze dive food, when it's dried, will be enhanced flavored. Extremely good. Certainly a strong strawberry flavor, which I like. If you'd like to learn more about freeze drying at home, come check out my Facebook group called Betty's Harvest Right Freeze Dryers group. And this batch did take 38 hours to dry. Thank you so much for watching my Facebook group. Um, link will be in the description box. Thank you.